welcome back so in the last discussion I was going with uh, the formula on differentiation and all so I'll revisit the formula I will suggest you to make a formula copy a small copy of some 30 pages and write down all the formula that I'm writing here and in that formula copy do not do not write anything other than the formula take care it's a formula copy you shouldn't do any rough work you shouldn't do any mathematics in that only formula you write down so uh, there were eight formula then I bothered the trigonometric ones sine cos this that so there were 13 now I'm just going with another 6 sine inverse x is 1 by 1 minus x square cos inverse x is minus 1 by only there is a minus sign here tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square cot inverse x is just a minus sign sec inverse x is 1 by x into x square minus 1 mathematically we give a modulus sign here that's not so important for you also you can leave it if at all because we are not requiring at the intrinsic level but you can, you can make out that you should give a modulus sign cosec inverse x is minus 1 only a minus sign over here also you can make out that all C's are negative so that you will never get a confusion all C's are negative okay I'll just bother some alt, I mean high school formula x to the power m whole to the power n is x to the power m into n because why am I discussing all this because many of my students have, have found that they are actually struggling with class 8 or 9 fundamentals so mathematics is something which is quite easy and enjoyable so I'm just <coughs> going with uh, things x to the power m whole to the power n is x to the power m into n the example could be x square whole to the power 3 is x to the power 2 into 3 which is x to the power 6 now x to the power m into x to the power n is x to the power m plus n x to the power 5 into x to the power 2 is x to the power 5 plus 2 is x to the power 7 Similarly, if it is x to the power m by x to the power n, that is x to the power 5 by x to the power 2. So this is x to the power, I'm sorry, x to the power 5 minus 2. So that is x to the power 3. Cube root of, I mean, nth root of x is x to the power 1 by n. Example could be five, fifth root of x is x to the power 1 by 5. x to the power minus n is 1 by x to the power n is x to the power minus 5 is 1 by x to the power 5 x to the power 0 is 1 basically means anything to the power 0 is 1 now if I'll ask you what is d by dx of x so this is actually the first formula what I'm using so d by dx of x is nothing but d by dx of x to the power 1 so that is 1 into x to the power 1 minus 1 that is 1 into x to the power 0 and x to the power 0 I told over here that x to the power 0 is 1 so this is 1 into 1 that is 1 so d by dx of x is 1 this I can make as a new formula many of my students initially they think that d by dx of x is 1 how because d and d are getting cancelled x and x are getting cancelled but it is not the case because d by dx doesn't mean that this d and d are getting cancelled you can make out d by dx of x to the power 7 is not like this x and x are getting cancelled it's having a formula that is 7 into x to the power 7 minus 1 that's equal to 7 into x to the power 6 that's it things are so much so easy now <coughs> I'll come to d by dx of let me say sine x square is how much now for this trust me these are easy things d by dx of sine x is how much is cos x now d by dx of sine of in place of x I will write something of my choice not x something else let me say a star 
then this is cos of star. So this is cos of star. That way what I'm meaning is if this is x, this is x. If this is star, this is star. So much so easy. But only one change comes here. I mean extra thing that it will also get multiplied by d by dx of star. That's it. Nothing. There is no major change. If it is x, you write x. If it is x square, write x square. If it is e to the power x, you write e to the power x. If it is an animal, if it's an elephant, write an elephant, and so on. So sine star is cos star, but the only difference is, I mean, extra thing is d by dx of star. And what is star? Star is anything other than x. So what is that? If this is x, I'll put a dot. This becomes a star. You know. So sine x is cos x. So sine x square. So now this becomes the star. So this is cos of star, which is cos of x square. Extra thing is d by dx of x square. So sine x is cos x. Sine x square is cos x square. But only thing is d by dx of x square is multiplied. So this is cos of x square. d by dx of x square is how much? Again, I'm coming to the first formula. This formula. So d by dx of x square <coughs> is two into d by dx of x square is how much? Two into x to the power two minus one, which is two into x to the power one. That is two x. So this is d by dx of x square is two x. Now in this case, some students they by mistake multiply this x square with this x. Like I told that in log log x square into x log is a security card that it arrests this x square. It it is not a free term. It's not related to simply anything into the world. Similarly, cos, sine, tan, all these things are security cards. This x square is not at all a free term. So this 2x will come in the beginning. 2x cos x square. That's all. So in any formula in differentiation, simply any formula, sin x is cos x. It can become a star. This can be. This will become a star into d by dx of star. Anywhere of my choice. This is star. This is star. Only d by dx of star will get multiplied whenever it is becoming other than that. If it is x, it is x. If it is star, it's star. Don't ask me where. Because I told you that it's simply anywhere of my choice. Whenever x becomes anything, if this becomes a star, this will become a star. Only thing is d by dx of star will get multiplied. That's it. Log x. This is star. Make it a star. D by dx of star. E to the power x. Make it a star. Make it a star. D by dx of star. Okay. So. <clears throat> what I am actually discussing is called chain rule. But what I am saying is, I do not bother any conf any tougher things, any name, anything. I am just telling you that the way a kid can understand. For example, d by dx of log of sine x. So how will I know this? First of all, think d by dx of log x is how much? One by x. Now, is it x? No, it's sine x. I told that anything other than x is a star, so this is a star now. If it is x, it is x. If it is a star, it is a star. 